I started off by thinking, what do you think about when you think about nothing? Um, and I thought about that because it's something I pondered when I was a child. It was one of those thoughts that would go around and around my head, and do we ever think about nothing? And how would you even know if you were thinking about nothing? And if we think about nothing, are we just actually dead? But I spent an awful lot of my time um, as a child um, staring out of the window. It, it's interesting what you see when you, when you spend a lot of time looking out of windows. And children often do, because they're indoors a lot. Um, and they're in their bedrooms a lot, and they're sort of kind of strangely, um, a sort of like a little surveillance team. I, I spent a lot of time looking out of my windows, pondering these kind of nothing thoughts and thinking about them. And, and, um, and that time spent looking out of the window also taught me um, what it is to look at a little framed view, because that's also what you're doing. When you're looking out of a window, you, you see a little world in a frame. And looking out of windows, apart from teaching me to draw, it also um, it taught me to write, I think, as well. It did help me become a writer, because you begin to see the usefulness of what you see out of a window. The ideas come from staring into space, staring out of the window, being bored sometimes, that allowing your brain to connect and let thoughts collide and weave together. That is where ideas come from. And we need that space and children need that space because we just don't, we just don't have enough of that time to think. And we are creative beings, but if we're put under pressure in this way, we can't think of anything useful. And, and it's such a shame that we're so goal-orientated, that we're so busy all the time. And no wonder children are getting more depressed. No wonder we're getting more depressed because it creates this terrible anxiety. And you may have noticed that there have been lots and lots of programmes on the radio recently about busyness. Radio 4 did a brilliant thing in saying how we become duller, we become more stupid, the more things that we do and that actually when we're about to go and meet somebody or have a meeting, we should put away our phones. We shouldn't be sending that last minute text. We are not using time wisely. And so I was thinking about that in the, in the context of children and how much it, it really matters. Um, and I was thinking about how our time is all chopped up into little pieces and, and we don't have enough time to really put, piece things together and know what we really, really want to do. We don't have enough time to idle and contemplate and do stupid things. This thing that we have about everyone should be focused and children should be focused and we must concentrate we must concentrate all the time and we mustn't drift off and yet I bet every single person in this room has drifted off as I've been talking at one point or another because it's normal it's normal and we're meant to do that we are programmed to do that because when I say a word it triggers a thought and it takes you somewhere else and that's creativity and that's important this is where ideas come from